Hey guys, in this video, going to be going over a strong moveset build that you can teach your Umbreon in the second generation Pokemon games, as well as some additional moves that you could slot in. Now, out of all of the Gen 2 Pokemon, I think Umbreon has one of the best character designs, and given that fact, it is a popular choice for people to want to have it in their competitive team. Umbreon is a dark type, leaving it immune to Psychic, resisting Dark and Ghost, and then it's only weak to Bug and fighting. And in terms of its stats, Umbreon is definitely a defensive oriented Pokemon in your team. It's special defense all the way up there at 130. Also very respectable defense at 110, HP at 95. The rest of its numbers aren't so great with its attack at 65, its speed also at 65, and then its special attack at 60. But what you're looking to do competitively with your Umbreon is just to outlast your opposition. You're able to tank a lot of damage. And although you're not able to deal out a ton of damage in return, there are ways that you can go about whittling down your opposition's health. So I'm going to go over these moves as well as some other options that you can slot in and how you go about obtaining these moves on your Umbreon. So move number one here is Charm. Probably the trickiest move to get out of the ones that I'm going to be going over here in this list because it needs to be obtained through breeding in the Gen 2 games. You have to have the Snubble line as the father knowing the move Charm to eventually get it over onto your Umbreon through breeding. And what Charm is going to do is it lowers the target's attack by 2. This makes your very tanky Umbreon even more difficult to deal with if you're going against an opposition that's using physical type attacks. And you're hoping to get them to switch out because if that's the case, then Pursuit is going to deal double damage. It's a nice move to pair with something like a Charm. So the power doubles if the foe is switched out. It only has 40 base power, but it is 100 accurate. And if you get that switch out, it deals double damage. It's also a dark type. Same type attack bonus on your Umbreon. And Pursuit is learned through leveling up at level 16. Now I also want to quickly state that I think Confuse Ray is another option which is learned at level 30 by Umbreon and I think you can slot it in here for move number one if you didn't want Charm because it has a similar kind of effect where if you confuse your opposition then your opponent is going to be incentivized to switch out in which case Pursuit is going to deal double damage in that situation as well and you're also looking to outlast your opposition whittling away their health with something like a Toxic that you can slot in here to move number three but if they're confused Confused, they could potentially deal damage to themselves and in the gen 2 games confusion it's a 50 50 whether they attack you or hurt themselves so it goes along with this theme where you're looking to outlast your opponent and i think confuse ray slotted in here to move number one instead of charm is another way that you could potentially go and it's an easier move to obtain if you're playing your way through the gen 2 games instead of breeding to learn charm now going down, move number three and four, I prefer going with Toxic and Rest, but there's also arguments to be made on Sleep Talk as well as Moonlight, so I'll touch on those. Move number three here, Toxic, badly poisons the target, 85% accurate. And Umbreon can learn this through TM06. Going over to our list of TMs, Toxic is going to be a prize for defeating the gym leader Janine. And I'll get back to Sleep Talk after talking about Rest because that would be the pairing that you would have to have if you did want to go the Sleep Talk route. But first to talk about Rest, and I prefer it over Moonlight as an ability to heal your Umbreon. Given its very important added benefit of curing your status, for instance, if you're paralyzed or poisoned, which can be an Achilles heal on an Umbreon, what Rest does is it will cure that status while also restoring your HP. The downside, of course, is that you're going to be asleep for two turns. And Rest can be learned through TM44. And TM44 Rest is found on Ice Path's basement second floor, and it's going to be in this region down here in the bottom right-hand corner of the Ice Path. That's where you're going to be able to pick up that particular TM. Another healing move that you could potentially slot in instead of rest is Moonlight. The benefit is it doesn't put you to sleep, but it doesn't cure your status. And it's also going to heal based on a weather dependent as well as time of day dependent amount. Umbreon learns this through leveling up up there at level 52. And to touch on Moonlight, what this is going to do is it restores the user's current HP based on weather and time of day. So in the morning and day during no weather, it restores one-fourth total HP. During harsh sunlight, it restores half total HP. And during other weather, it restores just one-eighth total HP. Except in Link Battles, the move restores twice as much HP at night. But again, guys, like I was saying, I prefer rest given the fact that it cures status, which can be a very important thing on your Umbreon to get rid of being poisoned or paralyzed. 
And you could also pair this with Sleep Talk if you didn't want to go the toxic route. What Sleep Talk is going to do is when the user is asleep, it uses another known move. So while you're asleep, it could throw out an attack move like Pursuit, or it could also throw out either a Charm to lower the target's attack by two, or a Confuse Ray if you went with that in this move one slot. TM35 Sleep Talk, a little tricky to obtain in the Gen 2 games. It's deep underneath the Goldenrod City in this area. And to access it, you must have exposed the fake president at the top of the radio tower, travel to the Goldenrod underground, and take the path that juts to the right, enter the double doors, and descend the stairs. You should now be in a room with several pillars. Travel to the far left side of the room and activate every switch from left to right. Follow the newly opened path to the next area, and TM35 will be in the center of this room. And that's going to round out all the moves that I wanted to touch on here that you can go with on your Umbreon. The idea is that you can tank a lot of damage on Umbreon and you're looking to chip away at your opponent, poisoning them with Toxic, perhaps confusing them and getting them to attack themselves. Also putting your opponent in a position where they might want to switch out by lowering their attack pretty considerably through Charm or by confusing them with Confuse Rate and then Pursuit is going to be able to deal double damage on that switch out. So Umbreon can be a really tricky opponent to deal with if everything is going right for it with this build. So to round this out, the item here, Leftovers, at the end of every turn, the holder restores 1 16th of its max HP, a great item on pretty much anyone in a competitive battle, but especially Umbreon, where you're able to tank damage so well, and then having 1 16th of your max HP just restored to you at the end of each turn is just a really great added benefit. And Leftovers can be obtained from a Wild Snorlax in the Gen 2 games. You can pick one up at the Celadon City Restaurant in the trash bin and you can also get it from a wild clefable or a wild snorlax trading those over from the gen 1 games over to the gen 2 games and that's going to wrap this one up so i hope this video was helpful i appreciate you guys stopping by consider subscribing to the youtube channel and i'll catch you back here next time